Hey guys, welcome to Crochet and Ballet. I, um, I do not usually do videos facing me because I like, um, I know when I was learning how to crochet, I really liked to just look at somebody's hands up close and just see what they were doing. So that's what I try to do in my tutorials. Um, but I wanted to start um, a new, I don't know if it would be series or um, a new like little kind of video that I'm gonna start doing um, and it's gonna be crocheting while Bonnie's at ballet because when I started crocheting I started doing it um, to have something to do while I sit at sport practices or ballet practices or whatever it is that my kids are doing um, and that's when I started learning how to crochet because I had to sit for hours and hours um, to watch my kids um, play sports. I guess I'm not watching if I'm crocheting, but they weren't games. I don't do it at games or, or at performances, but um, for practices, uh, it can get, I think what started it was when my son played football and I was at football practice for like three hours a day for, I don't remember, it was like three days a week or something. He was little. And um, so you have to stay. We don't have to, I don't guess, but I stayed, but it's not really exciting to watch little tiny ones practice all the time. So I want to do something productive. So I learned how to crochet by watching YouTube videos. So now I still do that, um, but I've never done any videos while I'm doing that. So I'm going to start doing that um, for, I told Bonnie we were going to call it um, crocheting while she's balleting. <laughs> I am sitting outside of her dance studio right now and she is inside at ballet class. And so while we're doing that, I'm going to show you guys what I do and I'm going to crochet for her ballet. We're going to crochet some leg warmers. Um, so I'm going to show you guys kind of the process of how I do that and you guys can follow along and make your own leg warmers. I'll show you um, the measurements, how I measured her, tell you about how I measured her and um, how I never start out with a pattern really when I'm doing leg warmers. I just kind of... Um, Go along and see what I like and what the the yarn is wanting to do and the way it looks best so um, I always I try to write down um, used to I was like oh I'll remember what I did on the first leg warmer and then <laughs> I didn't and I have to make another leg warmer that matches it so now I always try to write it down so um, and I also write down um, like her measurements for her legs so I don't have to keep trying it on her I have the measurements already um, already made so if you are going to make some leg warmers with me it would be a good idea to uh, get you a measuring anything it can be this it could be um, a string if you have like if you don't have an actual measuring tape it's okay um, just something that you can keep track of the size that you need wrap it around um, Bonnie likes for her leg warmers for ballet to come a little bit above her knee so I measured um, around her thigh um, a little bit above her knee and that around is 17 inches so the first um, thing that I'm gonna make is going to be the cuff um, at the top of the leg warmer and I'm going to make that um, until it's 17 inches long and then um, we'll make it into a cir circle and I say 17 I actually mean her leg is 17 inches I would always recommend because yarn does stretch um, making it two inches an inch and a half depending on how stretchy the yarn is an inch and a half to two inches smaller so that um, they don't just fall down once they stretch out because yarn stuff always tends to, to tends to do that so we're going to first be making the cuff and I really like to do like a ribbed cuff on most of them I think it helps them stay up better and it looks nice so I found this um, purple uh, yarn here uh, Bonnie really likes purple it's her favorite color right now so we're going to make some leg warmers out of this which I think will look really really cute on her so um, and I'm gonna use a five millimeter hook and I know people are looking at me weird but it's raining so there's not many people walking around but I am old enough where this is weird to do a video in the car <laughs> I guess maybe some people who are younger who do stuff all the time do not think that's weird and we'll do make videos and do things everywhere 
that seem it's still a little weird for me so usually I am at home when I make videos and it's not um, not anything that I do while I'm out so that's telling my age a bit I guess but I um, definitely is not something that I would typically do so I'm gonna get my yarn set up here so I'm gonna pause the video real quick and I'm gonna get my yarn set up because I just pulled up all of this so I'm gonna get it uh, where where I need it and we'll go ahead and start on these leg warmers okay we're back going so for whatever reason usually I can pull from the middle of the yarn and it just comes right out and it's not usually too tangled that one was kind of tangled so it took me a second but I have it out it starts um, with a purple part and then it kind of gets lighter here in a minute but I'm going to just show you what I do the first thing I do is make a slip knot slip knot put your hook through and I'm gonna chain um, uh, let's just see how long we want our chain to be there's one two three four five six seven eight can you all see nine ten eleven twelve um, 13, 14, 15. I think that looks like a good length for the cuff. I like to have, and this can be, uh, this is the top part, the cuff that's going to go around the very top of her leg, um, of the leg warmer. And I like for it to be, it's going to be this way long. Um, and then we'll start the rest of the, the rest of it below. But, um, I like for it to be kind of chunkier I guess or longer instead of like a real thin one but you can make a real thin one if you wanted to so this can be however long um, you want it to be and so I am going to um, chain one more so that uh, that can be like my turning chain I do like to go in the back bumps I do not like to um, I just think it makes it look neater so I do that so we're gonna skip that first back bump we're gonna go in the second back bump with a half double crochet so we yarn over and we go in to that back bump, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. We're gonna yarn over again and go into the next one. And we're gonna do this all the way down and we should have 15. I, um, I chained 16, but we will have 15 stitches total and that's what we'll work with all the way down through here. We are going to half double crochet and We'll get, I don't even know how many I just did right now because I keep getting distracted with the traffic driving by and the dancers running in the studio, which is totally fine. I'm just not used to doing that. And so here we go. Um, these are going to be really cute. I like this color a lot. Bonnie likes purple and I like the yarn that changes colors. Um, by itself because then I don't have to change the colors and it ends up with a really pretty pattern and um, and I didn't have to even change out the colors because I really do not like um, weaving in the ends some some of you all may be different you might not mind that part but um, for some reason that always bothers me so anyway so when you're through with the first row it'll look like this and you've got 15 half double crochets all in a row and like I said it's gonna be like this so we're gonna go like around her leg that way I don't know. anyway so then we're gonna chain one at the end chain one and now we're gonna start working only in the back loops of our 15 stitches and that's gonna be for the whole way around the cuff just the back loops only and for this one we are going to do um, just a, uh, a single crochet so we're gonna do rows of half double crochets and then single crochet row and we'll just alternate between that the whole cuff but it's all going to be in the back loops only so if you can see I don't know if you can see that it get a little blurry there's like V stitches that you can see so the back loop only is just the one back there so you kind of go down in the middle of the stitch and out the back pull up a loop yarn over and pull it through both and this is going to create uh, ridges around the cuff and it, and it makes it a little stretchy and it just looks really cute so we're just gonna go down through here and crochet in the back loops only um, single crochets which is going in pulling up a loop yarn over and pull through both the loops that should be on your hook and it is not 
cold at all here. Um, it is still very hot, but fall is coming and winter is coming. And I know Bonnie's gonna definitely want leg warmers. She really enjoyed having them last year. So um, we're at the end of that row and it'll look like that. You can kind of see there's like a little ridge there. That's what you're creating by doing the, the back loop only. So now what we're gonna do is we did the single crochet row. So now we're gonna do another half double crochet row. So you yarn over, you chained up one for your turning chain, yarn over, and we're gonna go in the back loop only of each stitch down and do a half double crochet, which is yarn over, go into the loop, pull up another loop and yarn over and pull through all three. And we are just gonna continue to do that all the way down this row of 15. That's not gonna change the whole time we're doing the cuff. I do like to um, crochet the, I found myself um, when they were at their practices and whatnot, I was just on my phone all the time and I was like, this is just really not productive to just sit here and be on the phone all the time. What can I do while I'm sitting here that would be productive? Because there's just not much to do. You're sitting in the car at the football field or whatever. So it should look something like this. And now we're on um, chain up one and turn and we're on a single crochet row. So still in the back loops only. And it's just a single crochet. And so um, thinking about what I could do, I was like, well, maybe I can sew because my mom had taught me how to cross stitch and I used to like that a lot when I was a kid. So, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the cross stitch anymore. I don't, I don't even know why, but I wasn't. And I've always wanted to learn how to either knit or crochet. And I didn't really know the difference at first because I feel like, and I feel like a lot of people don't, um, know the difference between knitting and crocheting because it's just, it's very similar. And if you don't know, it looks like, I mean, you know, they both use yarn and people just don't know. But anyway, I tried um, to knit and I tried crocheting and knitting. Ooh, that was some thunder. Um, anyway, I can't knit. I don't know why I can't. I, something about it in my brain, it just didn't click with how I don't know. It just didn't click with me. So when I tried crocheting, it was much, much better. So anyway, we just did a um, single crochet row. So we're back to a half double crochet row. And so I was able to, um, to learn how to crochet. And I started out finger crocheting because for some reason that kind of clicked with my brain a little bit easier just using, you know, I didn't use a hook at first. I'd use thick yarn and I used my finger and that really helped me uh, to be able to learn easier. I'm not sure why, but anyway, so I did finger crocheting for um, probably about a year or so before I was brave enough to, to try it with a hook. And now I'm, it's totally fine. That was years ago, but, um, anyway, I, I enjoy using a hook. Now I, now I don't like finger crocheting, but, um, it's been really fun to learn how to make different things and have gifts and always ready to give people and, um, teaching other, others like teaching Bonnie, she's learning how to crochet and, um, getting to make things for her that she really likes and, um, you know, make toboggans and things for, my husband and my son in the winter time. That's really all I can make for them. They're not, they're not gonna wear anything else. Although I will say Kent, my son, he loves to wrap up in blankets all the time. So he really appreciates when I make blankets, but I do not like to make um, blankets very often because they take a long time. I prefer, um, I prefer smaller projects because I um, they I get them done pretty quickly and then I do not have um, I don't get bored with it I feel like if it's a blanket or if it's some kind of a big project then I get bored with it easily and I don't want to finish it and then it's just not fun at all so I don't like to do that anyway we're on a single crochet row now and we're still just back loops only and 15 stitches still or whatever you want to do 
with yours. Um, so I don't really know. I was like, what am I going to talk about if I just sit here and crochet while Bonnie's in ballet? Um, so anyway, how I got started crocheting was the first thing that came to my mind. And um, I do feel like it was definitely productive and I, I was able to sell a lot of things um, at, I usually try to do one craft fair. Craft fairs are hard for me to do because um, you know, they're usually on the weekends and with my kids, that's when, that's like the busiest times. That's when they're playing sports and when they're, um, you know, doing everything like that. So, um, or when my husband's riding motorcycles or has a motorcycle event. So I don't just have my kids to events to go to. I have my husband's as well, which I love. I'm very happy to do that all the time. Um, but so we do work our, our schedules around, um, dance and wrestling and motorcycles. So we have quite an interesting time a lot of the time. Other than that, um, I homeschool both my kids. So I'm a homeschool mom and we've homeschooled for a long time, not just recently. Um, but I, I do, I do like that we homeschool a lot, but we do play, um, sports through our local, local school system and my kids enjoy that a lot. And then of course Bonnie dances. So, um, and as you can see, it's starting to make these, well, I don't know if you can see, or you kind of can, the ridges that it makes by doing the back loop only. Um, so I always just think that that looks better. It doesn't have to be like that, but that's how I always make them. I always start out all of my, um, whoops, I'm starting a half double crochet and it's supposed to be a single crochet row. Um, I do all of my leg warmers with a cuff for even if I'm making them for myself or Bonnie because it just, it gives them, I don't know, it helps them stay up better, I think, the way it goes around your leg. So we're going to just keep doing this until the length gets to, um, for these, for 15 inches for Bonnie, um, her leg around the where she wants it to come up to, around right above her knee, is... Um, 17 inches and so I'm going to make these 15 inches to allow for the stretch in them so that they don't fall down while she's dancing and she is super excited this year because she is finally old enough to I say finally she thinks finally I think she got to 10 really quickly but <laughs> she thinks she has waited her whole life and I guess she kind of has to be um, old enough to um, audition uh, to be in the Appalachian Ballet Company and so she made that and so she gets to be in the Nutcracker this year and she is so excited. Okay, sorry, I got confused on my count for just a second. But um, anyway, so she is super excited and she we don't know what part she's going to have yet they do casting in october but i will definitely let everybody know she is so excited she just did a video today because she is in point now and um she did a video today that i'm going to put up on the channel um just some things she has learned because she just got her point shoes over the summer but she has really excelled at she loves it and her feet don't hurt at all and she um she just has a good time in class she really really enjoys it so um anyway so we'll be doing nutcracker things very soon um and getting ready for christmas time and whatnot so um and we're just gonna keep uh, doing this here and um let's see we're on a single crochet row and let's see i feel like i'm off on my count maybe i am i've been distracted because i've been talking the whole time i feel like i definitely do not talk this much usually one two three four five six seven eight Eleven, twelve. How did I just get thirteen? 
I don't know. But you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add, there's 14, 13, and 15. And I'm just gonna add it that way because nobody will ever be able to tell. Sometimes if I miscount on these, like, you can't tell. Just add the stitch back. If it's just one or two stitches, add the stitches back in because um, we're gonna be doing a border around it anyway. It'll be fine, especially since I'm not selling it. I'm just making it for Bonnie. Not that that, not that I make her less, but you can't tell for real. So, um, anyway, so yeah, Christmas and um, it's almost fall. And I did just put up a how to make your own crocheted pumpkins video. If anybody wants to check that out, um, that was pretty fun. And I've got to. I've got some orders for a few more of those. So I will be making more pumpkins um, in the next couple days. I need to make six. And those are pretty fun. Let me know in the comments if pumpkins, you just love pumpkin things in the fall. I know a lot of people are just so into everything pumpkin for the fall, which is great. It's fine. I just, um, I know some people are just like super into that so which like I said is totally fine I I don't drink coffee I don't like coffee so I don't ever do like the you know I don't know do they have pumpkin coffee I feel like they do I feel like there's pumpkin everything let's see if our count is back right there's one two I'm doing it again where I'm supposed to be on a single crochet row I don't know if I'll be able to crochet like this. I get so distracted trying to talk, <laughs> which is okay, I guess. But um, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, I'm back to fifteen. See, you can't tell, but I was ever. It'll be like this and go around her leg, like this. But you'll never be able to tell that I was off for a couple of rows. <laughs> but um, anyway, so now we're back to fifteen. So that's good. And we're on a half double crochet row. I, um, yeah, I was talking about craft fairs earlier. It is hard for me to do craft fairs because of all the other activities that happen on the weekends. And, uh, but I do try to do, there's one, um, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, um, in downtown of our little town here and I always do really well I there's like guaranteed people people come because they're out Christmas shopping so they they're coming to buy things they're coming to buy presents and I've got lots of make sure that I have lots of presents and things <laughs> that they could buy and I always do really well at that one and so uh, you know you just never know with craft fairs if people are going to show up or not so um, and then like I said it's just a busy day usually for us and, um, that whole row, and I did not do the back loop only. That's okay. We'll try it again. Anyway, um, so, we don't do football anymore, so the, the Saturday after Thanksgiving is never, is never busy for us. That's pretty much like a the holidays is still part of Thanksgiving, I guess, the weekend after. So we never have any sports or activities that we have going on. So that's a good day to do a craft fair. And typically I use that as my Christmas money. <laughs> so then we can go Christmas shopping after that. But um, my son does not play football anymore. So I don't have hours and hours at the football field. He is very into wrestling. So he wrestles. And actually Bonnie wrestles as well. Um she last year she wrestled and 
I don't know if she's gonna have time to this year. I'll have to let you know on that. She um, she wants to. She's really good at it. She really likes wrestling, and she is really she's funny. She likes wrestling and ballet. Those are her two um, favorite activities to do. But um, which I love, and she uh, she definitely likes ballet better because we just recently talked about this, me and her, the, um, because this year ballet kind of got more serious. She is in point shoes. She's, um, you know, had tryouts to be in the company. And um, I, we, I talked to her before tryouts and, you know, I said, this may mean that wrestling is going to have to maybe take a back seat. I don't know how much of it we're going to get to do. And she, she was 100% ballet if I can't wrestle that's fine but we'll see she may still get to wrestle some um I don't know like I don't know how much of that she'll get to do we'll have to just wait and see what the schedule looks like for wrestling and I don't know what I don't even know what ballet is going to look like once it um once they have once they're practicing for the nutcracker I don't know what that's going to look like it's our first year doing this so I don't know will be a little lost, I guess, for the first little bit. But, um, anyway, we're super excited about it, though. And we're going to be... I'm going to make a post later, too. So, we... Um, I made these little point shoes. Aren't they cute? I was trying out a couple different designs. And if you're still watching, if anybody's watching this right now, um, I would love some feedback. I've got this point shoe, and I've got this point shoe... And I don't know which one I like better, but they're like little ornaments. And what I think I'm going to do, or actually what I know I'm going to do. And then I also did this, it's like a little bookmark. And Bonnie did the point shoe on that. Uh, and she helped me with the other ones too, but she did, uh, she did, the, she did the point shoe there. And I think what we're going to do is, because she's in the company now, she actually has some fundraising obligations that she has to do for the company, which is totally fine but um this is kind of a weird time to fundraise we can't really go places and ask people and that sort of thing so I think I'm gonna uh sell those little point shoes or not sell them maybe sell them how would you say it uh give them as a gift for anybody who wants to donate to her um to her company she needs 175 dollars as um as a first as her obligation to fundraise for the company and then anything that we get after that is going to go directly to um, keeping her in point shoes and leotards and her monthly class fees and um, making sure she has a family member at every performance and that sort of thing. So we're excited to start doing that and she's going to help me make all those things. So I've just got to get the pattern down and then I can tell her how to make them. Those are my first few. Uh, so we're definitely going to be doing that as well. And I'm, I'll make I'll make my own video or like its own video for the fundraiser things but um anyway that's a different video but this one I do think I'm going to call crocheting while Bonnie is balleting because I like that Bonnie thought it was cute too and she should be getting out of class here well I guess she's got about 30 minutes left but um I just don't know if I can talk for 30 more minutes while I'm doing this. What I may do is continue working on this um, while I'm sitting here. And then um, coming back and I'll show you what I've got. Uh, or actually, I'll, I'll just do it until I, get to, um, until I get to 15 inches. And then we'll, um, I'll turn the video back on and we can... Uh, we can talk about the next step on this and if it's hopefully that should be before Bonnie gets out of class <laughs> so anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll be right back okay so um, this is where I'm at so far this is about um, 11 inches so I just have a few more rows to go so I thought I would jump back on here you can see my yarn has started turning to this uh, lighter colored purple that's why I like this yarn uh, does the color changing by itself so we've almost as you can see kind of better it's gonna be like this that will go like her leg will go in this way and the rest of it will be done here but um, we are gonna um, just keep doing a few more rows here to get it to the right length 
and I'm on a single crochet row right now and she has about 15 minutes left of class so I'm going to try to at least get the cuff done today and then she also has ballet class tomorrow so I am going to be um, hopefully finishing up doing the cuff today and then finishing up the rest of it tomorrow while she's in class um, and I will get back on here and video it and we'll do more crocheting while Bonnie is balleting and um, I don't know I wanted to do like a so at some point I may do like a live like a YouTube live video while we're doing this I was really I don't know I've never done a YouTube live video so I was like I don't know I'm a little scared of it and I don't even know why <laughs> it makes no sense but I am a little scared of it so um, anyway we're gonna finish up the cuff today hopefully she'll she'll be out here in about 15 minutes and I think that should be enough time to finish this and then um, and then she has class tomorrow like I said so we'll get back and and do the, the leg part of the leg warmer and I, I really like wearing leg warmers in the winter time they're not just for for dancers although um, like I said Bonnie really likes to wear them to ballet and um, but I like to wear them too and they really make a difference like in keeping you warm if you live somewhere really cold it's a good idea to have leg warmers and even if you're just get cold it's it's they're good to have um, and because I hate coats I don't know if anybody else is like that I hate wearing a coat um, even in the winter time even if I'm cold I don't like to wear a coat I don't know why but I've always been that way and when I wear leg warmers it just helps like if I wear leggings and I can wear leg warmers over them uh, that helps keep me warm and I don't have to wear a coat most of the time because it's pretty mild uh, usually usually pretty mild winters here so um, it might be different if, wherever you're at if you have really really cold winters but um we don't so I try not to wear a coat as much as possible <laughs> in the winter time but um yeah so I'm, I may try the Facebook live I don't know I may get brave and try it tomorrow I don't know I may have to work up to that though and maybe try to do um do it once or twice for a little bit shorter amount of time and and see if I can figure out how that works and all that kind of stuff and I'm pretty sure like once it's over with I think people can still watch it like you don't have to watch it while it's live I don't think I have enough people watching to actually watch it while it's live but I don't I think you can watch it afterwards that's what I don't know about so I'll have to look into that a little bit um I'm not for sure but um it would be if if you're watching this video and you like this idea of crocheting with me while Bonnie is balleting and making things for um, ballet, which can also be for anything else, uh, leg warmers and ponchos and things like that. Um, if you have a project that you want to do or something that you would like to work on, or if you have comments about leg warmers or anything like that, just let me know in the comments because I would really like to hear from people or see what, um, what projects you're working on. I'm gonna measure this because this looks like it is about we're about right oh yeah yep oh well, that's upside down but 15 right there so the next thing we do so you it should look um, like this mine's 15 inches and as you can see it'll go around her leg like this and um, so now we need to close it because it can't go around her leg if it's not in a circle so um, just go ahead and chain one like you were going to um, start another row and we're gonna go I like to go um, back loop and back loop so you're gonna go into the back loop like we've been doing and then you're gonna get the other side and the very last stitch and you're gonna also go into that back loop so you've got both back loops there and then I'm just gonna pull it through all three and we'll slip stitch it together so then you're gonna go back loop on this one and then I don't know 
if you can that's not the best and then back loop on this one and then pull it through all of them and that's slip stitching it together so back loop back loop and then pull it through and that will get it put together here we may even have enough time to go around make a couple rows of the leg today um, she gets out at 515 my clock says 502 so so we should maybe even have time to do that this is not leg warmers really don't take like a super long time um, I've never been able to find a whole lot of patterns for leg warmers that um, that I liked a whole lot so I just started making my own um, patterns I didn't I just and I usually like I said I don't usually start out with a pattern I just kind of start making I always like I do like the cuff so I always make a cuff first and then um, and I mean you can make these any size you want to as big as you want to as little you can make it for little babies you can make them for plus size it doesn't matter uh, you just need to measure around your leg where and then make this as long as you would need to, to wrap around um, and then the rest of your leg warmer will go down from there so it's uh, it'll work out I don't know where I'm at on that okay back loop back loop but um, I started making my own patterns because I just couldn't find any that I really liked and I would just and then when I started making my own I just kind of I don't know I just see what it starts looking like with the yarn I don't I don't always have a plan for it so, so anyway so we've sewn it together and it looks like or crocheted it together and so now our yarn is down here back where uh, the tail is on the other one I always just go ahead and crochet that in as we're going around so I'm gonna chain one just to kind of get it up over the edge there and we're gonna single crochet all the way around and these it's always funny because you know it's the edges so there's not uh, there's not an exact um, place that you put the stitch but you know that there's in between these two ridges is two rows so like this is one two rows here two rows here and two rows here so you're gonna want to put two stitches in between each ridge and that should get you the amount you need to go around and I'm gonna see I always like to do a one row of single crochet it keeps it kind of tight and helps it to stay up so let's just single crochet around here and we'll see how many stitches I have there's one two tail here and I'm just going to keep going over that until it's um, until it's all the way down there. Oh, now I lost stitch count. That's okay because I'm just doing two in between each row. It doesn't really matter. Um, in all of my patterns, I like to just be like it doesn't matter because sometimes it has to, but for the most part, as long as you have as long as you have the right measurements for the most part, that's that's all you need and um, and and then that way it makes it really easy to um, to make different sizes and to make stuff fit that way so as long as we're going around here and we're not making it too tight then it doesn't really matter what num what number you have around just one in each row and like I said that's two stitches in between each of the ridges and that will get you the no what you're wanting so see as you can already tell that makes it look a whole lot neater uh, so at the very very end we'll do one around the top as well 
Um, but look at this. This yarn is just, it is all entangled. I've had to un like untangle it like three or four times. I did it not while I was actually, well anyway, I, ugh, I don't like yarn that tangles, but it's just part of it. Anyway, okay, back to single crocheting. Two in between each ridge of the ridges. And I'm trying to think, I really have nothing else to talk about. If you have any good topic ideas for when we do this crocheting while Bonnie's balleting. Um, and I think the way, one of the reasons why I wanted to do the, the live, but I don't know who can, I don't know who would even be on my live. I guess maybe that's a reason why I'm scared to do a live, but um, I do, I think that you can like talk to people like live back and forth conversation. I think I can see your comments and talk about them, but um, anyway, that would be pretty cool. But um, if you have any other topics, but in case if I'm not doing a live and you have any questions or you have any topics and you just slip stitch to close that back. So see, I've got her cuff made um, here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a row now of half double crochets, uh, cause she is still not out here yet. I've got about, my clock says 5.09. She gets out at 5.15, so we have a few more minutes um, before she's out of class. And so I'm gonna do now a row of half double crochets. But yeah, if you have anything that you wanna talk about that would be good or any kind of a topic that would be good to cover, um, during crocheting while Bonnie's balleting. Uh, I would love to hear it because um, I don't know what, I don't usually talk, like I said, I don't know what all we will talk about. So um, I guess just the projects we're doing or if you have any project ideas. This will take um, a couple of times of being at ballet for me to, to finish these and of course you gotta make two of them. Uh, I'll probably just make one though on camera and uh, do the other one another time and that way because it's the exact same thing you would make you know oh look at that big old yarn knot again coming up look at that um the second the second leg warmer you make exactly like first so that it matches so that um if you know how to make one then you could make the other one um, so I probably will just make one because I feel like that would get kind of boring. But also, if you have any like short projects that you want to do that we could get the whole thing done in an hour, we can do that. I don't know. Or or do make one thing or just you guys can work on your projects, whatever you're making and hang out and talk to me while I work on mine. If you have comments, if we're on the live, I think that's the way that the live can work. So I'm gonna have to look into that because I think that might be a better way to do, but like I said, I'm just not sure um, who is at home crocheting at 4.15 when Bonnie's dance classes are. So I don't know if people, if most people would be at work or whatever. Um, Cause that's not really a, like when most people are home time I wouldn't think but I don't know that for sure so I am finishing up this row of half double crochets look at this more knots every time and then I'm just gonna slip stitch to close it and undo this knot again. And, okay, so here we are. This is what we've got. We've got the cuff that's gonna go at the top of the leg. And then we've made one row of single crochets, one row of half double crochets. And then, um, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do another row real quick. I know they're probably getting ready to come running out, but that would be okay if she gets in. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do another row, but I think what I'm gonna do is one more row of half double crochets. I feel like, I think that would look better to have like one more little row there. Um, I'm really, I am liking this, this purple. So let's do one more row 
of half double crochets. So you just chain up one and let's do another row. Um, I like to do the half double crochet, I chain one and then half double crochet in that same stitch. And that, it makes it pretty in, invisible line there. You, like, you can't really tell. Of course, my line is light purple and purple, so you can kind of tell that. But <laughs> as far as the down here part goes, it, it'll be pretty invisible uh, seam. But, um, so we'll get a little bit fancier with our stitches. Maybe do some, uh, third loop rows tomorrow, mix in with some double crochets and make it, um, make it look a little different. Look at this more just tangled up mess. I'm going to have to go home and like untangle this yarn. And it's, I mean, it was brand new. I'll show it to you at the beginning. It was just brand new. It's just pulling out from the middle for some reason. This one is a mess. I'm going to have to go home and fix that so that that's not a problem tomorrow. She has class tomorrow at the exact same time as today, 4.15, but her point today was a uh, regular ballet class and tomorrow is point class in her point shoes, which like I said, she is just absolutely loving. Has not, you know, I, I wasn't sure because I was like, you know, I've always heard that, that really hurts your feet and she has never once, she never had, she has not had the first blister. She has not hurt at all. And she just has fun with it. She has lots of fun with it. She was super excited to get her point. She was super excited. It's been a very exciting uh, ballet season so far because she's, um, she got her point shoes over the summer, she went to a ballet camp and had a great time there and did very well in her point shoes. And then now she's, you know, got to audition for the Nutcracker and she did great at auditions and she's a junior apprentice in the Appalachian Ballet Company. And here she comes right now. So <laughs> she's getting in the car and I just finished up that last row. So here's Bonnie. <laughs> Come over here and how was class? Good. You gotta get all over here. <laughs> so we're making leg warmers. These are gonna be your leg warmers. We got the cuff done. And um so Hey just got out of ballet class. What did you guys do today? Um a lot of stuff I don't remember all of What it. was your favorite thing? A combination that we did at the end of some jumps. Oh, jumps are your favorite. Yeah. You're out of breath, so it must have been kind of hard. <laughs> yeah. We had to do it like three times in a row. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I now have to drive home. So thank you so much for watching Crocheting While Bonnie's Balleting, and I'll be back tomorrow while she has point class.